Welcome to the MPC Academy. We're going to be breaking down the brand new vocal suite in 2.10. So in MPC, we've added a powerful vocal suite which brings vocal retuning, harmonizing and stereo doubling effects, giving you that modern vocal sound in standalone and desktop. Now to access the plugins, go to our channel strip, we'll touch our UI and now we'll open up our plugins. Now you'll see a new tab that says vocals. This is where we have the retuner, harmonizer and a doubler. So we're gonna look at vocal tuner. Let's open up the UI and now we're gonna go through the controls. Now the first thing we have is detection and you can choose a different algorithm of how sensitive you want the plugin to react to the vocal. Then we have vocal range. So we have everything from very high. So if you're a falsetto singer or for more R&B vocals or even rap, then you can go down to like lows and mids. Then underneath that, we have our key. So this is where obviously we set the key of the song and then the scale type. Then on the right hand side, we have our favorite dial, which is how much of the retune effect we want. So let's play our vocal. Now that's with full tune. Now if we increase our amount, it's gonna reduce the amount of tuning on the vocal. You know that I like the way you dance Oh, I want the night I will mess it Baby, but the summertime you said Bring it back down Baby, it's true that I like you once over Baby, it's true Pretty much that without I the effect like you. And then back Baby, on Baby, it's true that I like you once over and then the next plugin in the suite is Harmonizer. And that's exactly what it is. This gives us the ability to add up to four parts of harmonies over our vocals. And it's a very simply laid out plugin to use. So on the right hand side, you can see the four parts that we can simply just turn off and on just by using our touch interface. So let's play a vocal. You know that I like the way you dance. Now let's turn our harmonies on, all four parts. You know that I like the way you dance. And that's how quick you can add harmonies. So we have key information and key scale. Then we have volume controls over our lead mix and our BV mix. So we can get a good balance. You know that I like the way you dance. Oh, I want the night I will mess. Then next to this, we have our humanized section. And this is how much of the effect we want to apply on the retuning, which again, same as retune, we can control. Then you have the vocal range. And again, this is really determined by the type of singer that you are and the range that you sing in. Then we have root mode and our reference tuning and delay sync. So to turn the harmonies on and off, simply use the touch UI. So if we just wanted our low harmony, you know that I like the way it we could just oh, use number four, introduce it. number two, you know that I like the way it bring in number one, oh, I want the night will it. and it's that simple. Then we have our mix tap, which gives us more control over the mix. So we can control the individual volumes of each of our harmonies. We can pan them left and right to widen the stereo mix. And again, and we can turn them all on and off from this screen as well. So this is very, very useful, especially when you're trying to balance out your harmonies. Now the next tab is settings, and this is where we can customize the harmonies. Now we can do everything from adding a third to a fifth to a seventh and determine where we want the harmony to be. So we can turn them off. And this low harmony is an octave down from the original and we're using the foreman to keep the pitch the same but change the type of voice. So if we increase the foreman, it becomes more high pitched and now low. Then we can change our note type. So at the moment we're an octave down. Maybe you want a fifth. Now we can also set our scale mode and add delay to the vocal. And then the last tab is EQ. So we can basically EQ our whole backing vocals. Now the last plugin in the suite is Doubler. And this is a great plugin as well because this does a number of things. Now, if you've ever been in a situation where you're trying to get your vocals to be more upfront, this is the type of plugin that you need. Now, this will add a very subtle amount of pitch to each side of your vocal. So at the moment, we've got it set to four and it adds a stereo spread to the vocal. Oh, I didn't know you. Oh, I didn't know your love. Let's turn it off. What's this to love you? Bring it back in. But I have to go. Then we can control the amount of the oh, doubling effect we want. You. Then we can go to the amount of voices. And if we increase this, this will give us an even wider sound. So let's play our vocal. Oh, I didn't know you. Oh, I didn't know you. 
Then let's bring up our effects. So you can see what type of effect we can get. So let's play it with our beat. So in today's modern R&B trap hip hop vocal sound, there's a lot of retuning type effects being used, pitch shifting, radio distortion. So if you go to the Akai tab at the top of the screen, this is where we have created a whole bunch of presets that give you instant vocal effects that you're going to be very familiar with. Now, the great thing about this as well is that you can actually create your own custom effects chains as well and save them as presets. So let's load one of these up. Show me if it's real. Show me if it's real. You drive me crazy. You drive me crazy. Now let's try this very famous effect. You drive me crazy. You drive me crazy. And what's great about creating effects chains is that we're utilizing all of the inserts on the channel. And then you can simply just save these out and again make all your custom presets. Now let's play our track. Show me if it's real. You drive me crazy. With this power in MPC, this makes our standalone technology the most powerful available for beat makers and producers. Yeah. 